Hi everybody, this is Kimberly of Happy Gals Vintage. Thank you for tuning in to watch the video today. Today I have some new stuff to show you. It's actually vintage stuff, <laughs> but it's new to our Happy Gals Vintage shop. And it's been a little while since I've done a shop update. And for our collectors out there who are subscribed to the channel because you want to have updates to see what new collectibles we have coming to Happy Gals Vintage, this video is for you. And especially for our teacup lovers out there, I have several teacups I want to share with you quickly. We'll talk about them, and I'll show them to you, and we'll discuss a little bit about what makes them so collectible. So let's get started. Now, if you are a regular subscriber and watcher of the Happy Gals Vintage channel, you know that I love teacups from Japan, especially vintage teacups from Japan. And I have a couple of them to share with you that are new to the Happy Gals Vintage Shop. And if you are interested in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop, there will be a link in the description below this video. So you can go down there and just click on the link. It's gonna take you right into the Etsy shop. And I have a couple other Etsy shops too, three other Etsy shops, and the links to those will also be in the description. So if you're interested, you can see all of the amazing items that I sell in my Etsy shops. Now, vintage teacups from Japan are pretty awesome, I think. And I do have a video about vintage teacups from Japan that you can check out if you're interested in learning more about them. And I can put a link in the description below this video for that. For that video if you want to go check it out. Now this teacup that we just recently added to the Happy Gales Vintage Shop is this amazingly bright cheerful yellow with hand-painted purple sort of lily flowers I guess they are. Um, the outside is of the teacup is white with some very fine gold detailing and it's a lot of fun. Um, anytime I get the really bold, bright colored teacups in my shop, they tend to sell pretty quickly because they're collectible. It's something that's a little different, right? Something that's a little like catches your eye, it's kind of dramatic. And here is another hand painted teacup. Um, it's also from Japan. And this one has these sort of pansy flowers on it, purple pansy flowers with a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow accenting and the hand painting is just really really nicely done finely finely done shaded hand painting on both the teacup and the saucer again we have gold detailing white porcelain fine china porcelain these these two pieces this set are just lovely, just beautiful. Now, hand painting was done in other places besides Japan on vintage teacups. And this little antique teacup I have is Bavarian. And the hand painting, it definitely has a different feel. It has sort of a, a more a soft, sort of impressionistic, um, sort of a muted, kind of hazy, romantic look to it. It's a little different from hand painting that comes from vintage Japanese uh, teacups, vintage Japanese makers of teacups. Um, but I love the look of the old antique Bavarian teacups. The porcelain's a little bit finer, um, and the painting just has that soft, pretty, pretty romantic look to it. So this teacup, and this one's a little smaller, um, it's more like a demi-toss, although it's slightly bigger than most demi-toss, so it's kind of in between um, most teacups and, and demi-toss. So that one is in our, that one is in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop if you want to go check it out. Now, in some of my other videos, I have talked about what makes a teacup collectible, and hand painting is definitely something that makes the teacup very collectible. Also, certain makers can be collectible. And this one right here is a Tuscan. 
and Tuscan is one maker that some people like to collect. They have a very sort of unique look to them, I think. It's kind of royal. Um, there's a lot of, usually a lot of gold and ornate styling in the Tuscans. Um, whenever I see a Tuscan, you know, when I'm out doing buying for Happy Gals Vintage, I can spot them usually from a mile away. <laughs> they just have a unique look, and this is a really particularly pretty uh, Tuscan. They're made in England. Um, they're fine, fine bone china. This is a fine bone china teacup. And uh, the shade of blue, this pretty, pretty sky blue or sort of ocean blue color against the white of the cup with the gold detailing, I think it's stunning. I think this is a stunning teacup. So I'm pretty happy that I have this one in the Happy Gals Vintage shop right now. If you want to check it out, definitely do. And you know, because these items are vintage items and I find them from sources like antique shops, um, thrift shops, flea markets, um, estate sales, I usually only have one of each item. Occasionally I'll get a little set, you know, a couple of something or four of a particular cup um, or a matching set somehow, but generally it's just one, one each um, of the pieces I have and I generally can't get more. Um, so just so you know that, they, it's not like I have 10 of these in my shop or anything, it's just the one. So once it's sold, um, it's gone. However, um, I keep getting more items all the time. So if you go to look for one of these and by the time you go to look, it's already been sold, don't be sad. Just look around the shop and see. Um, you'll probably find something that you like just as much, hopefully. Now, when we talk about collectible makers of teacups, you know, we just talked about the Tuscan from England. Another maker from England that is very collectible that many people love is Ainsley. And this is a teacup by Ainsley. And this is a particularly delicate and pretty design, I think. It feels very sort of bridal to me, like almost like the lace that you would find on a bride's dress. And um, it's just pretty subtle understated this light light grayish blue flower um, with gray leaves on white with gold detailing just so nicely done and it has the the famous Ainsley handle with the edge where it's at an angle sort of sliced off sort of it has that that unique look that is Ainsley and I think their idea was probably that it was a place to put your your thumb probably because it's very comfortable to hold this teacup and drink it just it's like it was made for your thumb <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm just thinking that maybe that's what the original designer who decided to do a handle like this that is only on Ainsley teacups I've never seen it anywhere else thinking that's maybe what they had in mind. So if you collect Ainsley, um, or you just want a really, really beautiful and unique teacup, this one is in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop right now. I love it when they actually have the design that's on the outside of the cup also appearing on the inside of the cup. Just adding that little extra touch So those are the teacups that I wanted to share with you right now, although we have more. And actually, you know what? Let me grab one, one more. It's over there, off camera, so give me just a second. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go beyond the teacups in this video without sharing this one by Rosina. Um, just because it's really unique and really fun and it has a lot of purple on it and a lot of people love purple. I love purple. I love purple. I love green. Um, and this particular teacup has uh, purple roses on it uh, with, with green leaves, <laughs> with green wreaths. 
<laughs> no, green leaves. And it has this really amazing sort of rose shape to the rim of the teacup, um, fluting all around the edge of the teacup. And then the saucer is also in this sort of unique rose shape. So this is a fun teacup. You know, it's really different. And anytime you have something that is so unique and different, um, it's collectible. So I'm sure somebody out there is going to want to snatch this one up. And um, you'll see this when you click on the link in the description below this video. If you click into the Happy Gals Vintage Shop, you'll see everything that we have available right away. But you can also click into just the teacup section. And actually, for for those teacup collect or teacup collectors out there. Um, I will put a link also below in the description of this video that is just directly to the teacup section for you, just to make it easier for you. So this one by Rosina is definitely available right now. At the moment I'm shooting this video, <laughs> things can change pretty quickly. And I know that sometimes can be frustrating for people, um, but it's kind of the way it is in the vintage and the antiques market. Now, if you're someone who likes to have sort of tea parties or brunches where you kind of show off and use your fine china, um, your teacups that you've collected, you may also be interested in something like this, which is a little dis sort of a display or a fancy way of serving um, foods along with your tea, right? So if you have little crackers or cakes, tea cakes, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's nice to have these beautiful bowls. They just really dress up the table. Now this one is hand painted. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Um, with these multiple colored roses. It has sort of a gray and a pink rose in the center and all this gold detailing. Um, it's in excellent condition. This was created in Japan, um, but it has a very sort of almost English feel to it, although the coloring, you know, and the boldness screams vintage Japan. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. I love this bowl. It's so, so pretty. And, you know, it may be too pretty for some people to want to put any food in it. I mean, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, come a long way here and had no damage to this hand painting. So if it's simply used as a display piece, that would make sense also. Because look at how gorgeous this is, right? Um, so this is available in the Happy Girls Vintage Shop. And one more piece that I want to share with you that is not a teacup, it's not a hand painted bowl. Um, but it's fun, and it's recently been added to the shop for you figurine collectors and you dog lovers out there. <laughs> I have this new um, Irish setter figurine, and he is hand sculpted resin. And so he's a solid resin. He is um, pretty substantial in weight, right? So you could use him to hold down papers or something if you wanted to, but. He's so gorgeous that he kind of deserves to just be on display himself. And because of the way he was sculpted in the original mold, um, he looks very much like wood. He looks like he's a, a wood carving, but he is sculpted resin. Um, and the detail in this guy is just amazing. I'm not sure how well you can see right now on camera um, and with the lights, but I'll Obviously, when I'm editing this video, I'll click in some some pictures where you can get some better close-ups of him. And again, I only have one of this of this guy. Um, he probably won't be around too too long before he sells. So I did want to share him with you right now. And I have lots of other vintage and antique figurines in my shop. Lots of other animals. I have a few other dogs right now. The dogs tend to sell pretty quickly. Um, so I never have a lot, but I always have a few. And I'm always getting more, right? I keep my eyes out for vintage animal figurines because people love them. People love dogs and they love dog figurines and to have figurines that remind them of their pet dog, right? 
um, either their present dog or ones they've had in the past over the years, you know, as they were growing up. And the same with cats. I have lots of cat figurines that I come and go in my shop. So, you know, check it out if you, if you like animal figurines. And he's in there right now, <laughs> at this moment, while I'm shooting the video. And I've been trying to make videos um, and show you products that while they're still available and sometimes it's hard for me to do because I get products and I list them and they sell before I even have time to make a video. So my videos are kind of like something I squeeze in on the side when I'm not too 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 busy with my shops and so like right now there's just a little lull in the shop. Um, not much but a little right before the holiday season gets going and then I'm going to be really busy again it'll be more of a challenge to have time to make videos. Although I love making videos and I love sharing the stuff with you guys um, so that you can see what kind of things we have in the Happy Gills Vintage Shop. So I want to thank you for watching this video today. If you enjoyed watching and hanging out with me for a little while uh, please click the like button. It's very helpful to my channel and to my Happy Gals Vintage shop and my other Etsy shops also. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, then maybe subscribe to the channel and you'll see all the new videos when I, when I put them out. And also, you can check out a lot of other videos that I've made um, if you're interested in things like vintage and antique collectibles and teacups, definitely check out um, a lot of videos that I have on the channel already about teacups. And if you want to be notified when a new Happy Gals Vintage video comes out, you can click the little bell icon and then you'll get an email to let you know when a new video is available to watch. So thanks again for watching. I hope all is well for you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon.